Coming at you today from the homestead, folks. Um, it's Ryan here, and today is uh, spring cleanup day, so I'm going to take out one of the tools that um, I haven't reviewed uh, much of lately. Um, it's the Steel uh, 135R, uh, the KMA. It's the electric um, combi. I, I like this setup. I've, I've used it for the Weed Whacker, and I have a review on it for that. Um, but here I'm using it for the broom. I don't know how well you can easily see this, but um, with battery, the broom on it weighs 29 to 30 pounds, which is yeah, a significant amount of weight, but it's also got a nice reach on it. I have the broom set up to kick towards me because I like to pull it instead of push it. Um, I've got a big 300, I think it's a AP 300 battery in here because this is the professional series. Again, this is the 135R KMA uh, by Steel. And yeah, it's got the AP300S in here. Um, this battery lasts me, um, and it's a newer battery, but it lasts me about an hour. I really like how this unit um, has kind of like three speeds. Let's see if I can get it to go into the next speed here. This is all the way up at high. Um, and then if you push and hold it, it'll go down to one, which is low. And then it'll be in the middle at two. And I like to run it in two. I find this to be a real gas, um, you see a real advantage over the gas version of the combi. Because although you can feather the trigger, as you move back and forth, you tend to bump the trigger. So it's just easier to hold it on high all the time when you're using the gas one. The electric is also a lot quieter. Um, as you can tell here by the volume of it, it's not as noisy. Now, there's, you know, kind of advantages to both. Now, in the gas version of this, if you get the one that I've done in my reviews, which I still have, by the way, which I use my tiller on, and I still have a broom for it, which is this, this same broom type style, um, it comes more with a wheeled stand so you can wheel it around and I find that to be very advantageous you know if you're tired or doing really long times but if you're just as a homeowner and you need this for just a few times in the spring or using it for snow in the winter like we do here and there um, I like I like the battery version where you just hook it up and go now when we clean up the edge of our driveway obviously the plow and the blower put rock into the grass in certain spots but there's other areas like this where it's way in there and I'm actually quite impressed with how well this broom can pull it out now as you can see I also take about a foot foot and a half of gravel and push it into the driveway then when I come around and blade out my driveway here for spring I pull that back into the center because again my edges get real heavy with the rock and the centers obviously get lighter um, I'm letting the machine do all the forward work so basically um, it wants to go forward on me and I'm just pulling it back I'm really not holding 30 pounds, I'm just pulling against the pressure. And I, I think this machine works fantastic. So if you're a person with a gravel driveway and you wanna recoup some of your gravel and not run it through your lawnmower or your blades in the spring, this product works great. If you wanna do probably up to an inch of snow, maybe inch and a half if it's fluffy or even two inches fluffy, this works awesome. If you're like me here where you've got a couple ravines or ditches which are rock based and you just want to pull some of the loose gravel back up that's sifted down there through the winter, this thing works absolutely fantastic for that too. Also this thing actually works really pretty good for you know cleaning out stalls. You take this into the like like the pig house where there's a bunch of straw down from the pigs on a rubber floor, take this sucker in it, it just kicks all the straw right out to you which is absolutely fantastic. I find on the farm there's a lot more uses for it than you think. And then a simple twist to the screw here. By the way, my son is, is helping me film and he's only five and a half, so if the camera doesn't get me in the full shot, I apologize. But you undo a screw and it pulls apart. I grab the weed whacker head. You gotta line it back up. There's a little notch in it. Stick it back in, tighten up the screw. Boom, you're back to being a weed whacker. I've also got the brush cutter head and a few other heads for it. I absolutely love it. I'm not saying that it, it doesn't have some disadvantage though over the gas one still because that one has the wheel kit for it, but it certainly has many advantages too, including the fact that obviously it's it's battery. Now I get batteries are expensive, but it's nice to be able to just walk in the shop, pull it out of the charger, drop it in and go and not have to worry about, you know, filling up the tank, so to speak. Um, I've got the nice wall stand here where I keep everything. It works great. Again, I've got, uh, you know, the trimmer head. Let me grab the camera here. I've got the trimmer head. I've got, you know, a pole saw, I've got the hedge trimmer, I've got the brush. It works absolutely fantastic, folks. If you're interested in a professional machine with a good battery, look up the K1 or KMA135R uh, steel.